In this video, I want to recap tenses. Tenses belong to verbs and tell us when an action is happening. We know that there are different types of tenses and I'm going to go over what these are. Tenses fall into three main categories, past, present and future. They relate to when in the story an action is being completed. There are also subcategories that we need to know about. For example, we have already learned about two different past tenses, the imperfect and the perfect. Both of these refer to actions that are happening in the past, but there is a difference between them, which we'll go over. Obviously, verbs that are happening in the past have already happened in the timeline. Verbs in the present tense are happening now, and verbs in the future are actions that are about to happen or will happen at some stage in the future. The present tense is used for verbs that are happening now or at the time of writing. There are a number of different ways to express the present in English. I'm going to use the verb love as an example. One way we can talk about the present tense using this verb is by saying, I love. Another way is saying, I am loving. A third way is saying, I do love. All of these actions are happening at the present time. However, in Latin, there is only one equivalent. So we know that the verb amo could mean, I love, I am loving, or I do love. The present tense endings in Latin verbs are o, s, t, mus, tis and nt. The imperfect tense is used of verbs that are happening in the past that are ongoing, incomplete or repeated. We'll see what this means when we look at our examples. So using the verb love we could say I was loving, I used to love, Or I would love. However, in Latin, again, there's only one way to express this, and so we use the form of the verb amabam. So again, we can translate this in a number of different ways depending on what best fits the context. And we'll use our favorite video <laughs> with that awesome song to recap these endings. Bam, bas, bat. Bamos, Bartus, Bant. I'll leave you to sing them for yourselves. Finally, we have the perfect tense, which is also used for actions in the past. Instead of um, actions which are ongoing or repeated, the perfect tense is used for completed or one-off actions in the past. And it, perfect comes from the Latin word for complete. In English, we can translate this in a number of different ways. So we can say, I loved, I did love, or I have loved. All these are completed actions in the past. In Latin, again, there's just one way of saying it, am I we. Note that a lot of them, but not all, have a V in them near the ending to let you know that it's there. So Amawi can be translated in one of these three ways, again depending on the context. And the other endings, as well as I, are isti, it, imus, istis, and eront. We can think a bit more closely about the difference between the imperfect and the perfect using the illustration of a timeline. So the star here indicates now, or the present and it goes further back in time. The perfect tense can be used to describe a one-off action that occurs at a point on the timeline. However, the imperfect tense either is a repeated action or it could refer to a chunk of time. So in Latin, look closely at which tense the author has decided to use and why they use each one. I hope this video has helped you to extend your understanding of the different tenses in Latin. Make sure that you know each ending as well as what they mean. 
If you have any questions or problems, make sure you post them on iTunes U or bring them up in class as I'm sure a lot of people will either be able to help you or will benefit from knowing the answer too.